Hi, this is Stephen Kern, and this is a screencast for our Hyperledger Identity course posted on edX. In this session, we'll look at an example of using social recovery to retrieve highly sensitive information, such as the recovery key for the backup of your digital wallet. Recall that for social recovery, we encode data into different parts and then distribute the parts to different entities, family members, friends, companies, and so on. To recover the original data, we bring some of those parts together. We're gonna to use this site, passguardian.com to demonstrate the approach. This is just a demo, but it has lots of great information about the process and possible uses of the mechanism, and it lets you play. Let's see how it works. We'll start with a secret. I'll put the secret in here. In this case, I'm gonna have uh, split the secret into five shares and I'm gonna have a threshold of three. That means three of the shares must come together in order to reconstruct the secret. Once I have that ready, I click the split button and I wind up with five shares, uh, one per line. And this is the data that I would distribute to uh, the different people that I want to hold on to it until I need to recover it. Um, to reconstruct a secret, I need at least two of the shares, at least on the past guardian site. So I'll copy the first two, paste them in. Once I have that, I will click reconstruct and there is not my secret message. And that's because we haven't got the requisite number of shares together that we need. So what I'll do is I'll add another share and then I'll take one of the other lines. Now I can take any of the lines. If I take uh, the same one, it won't reconstruct. It'll, it'll produce the same thing. But if I take any of these three that I don't already have, take this last one, I'll paste that in, reconstruct, and there we go. I have my secret back. So that's how Shamir's secret sharing works. And this is an example of how to do it. Note that in a production implementation of this, we would expect the user interface to be way, way friendlier. We're not gonna be sending off people raw strings of data that they handle by hand and they copy and paste them along. It works, but it, it's not gonna be pleasant for the user. It'll be a lot easier than that. Uh, as I said, you can try this on Pass Guardian yourself. Please take a look at the information on the site to see the other use cases for the algorithm. Um, there are advanced features for doing different things with the data and some details about the algorithm itself.